our guest, well, not guest speaker, but one of our own, the event will be speaking tonight, Evangelist Michelle Brown. Amen. Also, Tuesday night, Bible class, um, in person and also on Facebook Live. Amen. Wednesday, 6 a.m. is our PCAF High Prayer Conference Call. Also, 12 noon, South Rock Island South Bay Church New Day Prayer Conference Call. 7 p.m. South Rock Island South Bay Church Prayer Service in person and on Zoom. Friday night at 7 is our Youth Bible Study in person. Amen? Amen. 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 Let's keep those announcements in mind and govern ourselves accordingly. At this time, we're going to receive our offering in Jesus' name. Amen. Service in the hands of our usher and also service in the hands of our praise team. Ways of giving our offering is as follows. Solid Rock, um, Ghiblify, Solid Rock, South Bay Church. You can see our pastor Abraham's picture. Use the morning option. We also have another way of giving called Tithe. We no longer have cash app functioning at this time, so please do not send your money to cash app. Tithe or give it a Or you can mail it to Solid Rock Island South Bay Church, P.O. Box 358, Randallstown, Maryland, 21133. Or you can give in person. You can give. I'm going to ask you if Sister Stacy, you don't mind standing to receive our in house offering in the name of Jesus. Those that have in house offerings, please stand, turn to my left and right, and to the usher the rear. Please go ahead and say what you can. Thank you. Why don't you come up and give up?
like so many to touch me. Is that all right? Yeah. It's your body moving. Hallelujah. I can tell you what God told me to tell you. I don't just get up here and tell you something. I ask God what he want me to tell you. Because I don't know what to tell you. All right. He knows what you said in the need of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I tell him, God, I don't know what to tell him. If you don't give me something, tell him I don't have it. Come on. I don't have anything if you don't give it to me. Hallelujah. So he began to download it to my soul. Spirit. And I'm still praying and asking him a for a word for you today. Hallelujah. It may look easy, but it's not as easy as you thought. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to preach to somebody, amen, about 52 weeks in a year, amen, and teach them over and over again, amen. And you're going to have to have a word from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because things are changing and people are going through this and going through that. Amen. And there are ups and there are downs and there are ins and there are outs. Amen. And for them as well as yourself. But there must be a word from God. So if you will, I'm going to two passages of scripture. Well, three actually. I'm going to the book of Genesis. Go to Genesis. Genesis. Genesis, the 28th chapter. Going to read the 28th chapter and going to look at verses 20 to 22. Amen. Genesis, the 28th chapter, verses 20 to 22. After which I'm going to jump over to chapter 33. 28th chapter, the book of Genesis. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask your Lord that you will set up on your servant, that you will use this vessel according to your perfect will. Glorify yourself and yourself alone in this place on today. Send the full for rain, my word, touch the ears of the hearers, cause us to hear what thus saith the Lord. Give us a heart to receive the word of God and mine, to be obedient unto the time. In the name of Jesus, oh God, bring forth deliverance right now. Unstop the deaf ears in the name of Jesus, unclog the ears. Right now, make the devil lose his hope on the mind and the ears of the people that are wrong. Now, we release you in Jesus' name. Bring forth deliverance, oh God. Heal your heart and heal pain. Oh God, minister unto thy people from the pulpit to the door. Let your glory resonate in this place and through this vessel. I ask it now in the mighty and powerful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And we say, Joseph hinder most. 
And he passed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. Abithar ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. Verse 11, Jacob is saying to Esau, take I pray thee my blessing that is brought to thee because God has dealt graciously with me and because I have enough and he urged him and he took it. I'd like to go to the book of Psalms. This is the last book I'm going to. The book of Psalms, the book of Psalms chapter 116. Psalms 116, verse 12 to 14. The Bible says, What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. I'd like to go back, if you will, to verse 12. Verse 12 says, What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I'm going 14 where he says, I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Today it is very personal. It is very personal. It's a personal thing and I want you to take it personal. And I, I just want you to tell somebody, look at him and, and tell him because it's the truth. Tell him these words. And it's just three words. I owe God. I owe God. Tell him, tell him again. I owe God. I owe God. It's not a person that's sitting in here all today that doesn't owe God. Everybody in here is in debt to God. You might not be in debt to me, but you're in debt to God. You owe God something. You owe Him. Well, when I began to think about the scripture and just begin to remember this, I, I went on to the dictionary. You know, I like to go and I like to look at some words, even though we know the definition, but I still like to define them. Amen. To reiterate it in our mindset. All right, so I, I heard the psalmist saying, What shall I render um, unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? It's the benefit that you're able to breathe and inhale and exhale for yourself. That's a benefit. Some people can't inhale nor exhale for themselves. They are literally on a breathing machine. But benefit, benefit is an advantage or profit gained from something. I've gained this from the Lord. It benefits me. Amen. That I'm able to walk and I'm able to talk and I'm able to get around. Amen. The job that God has blessed you with and benefits you. The house that you live in, it covers you and shields you and shelters you. Amen. From the wind and the storm and the rain. Amen. From the heat and from the cold. Amen. It is a benefit. Amen. That you have health in your body. That you are not laying in a hospital bed. It is a benefit. It's not that you deserve it. It is a benefit that God it is a benefit that it wasn't your child that died yesterday. It's a benefit, amen, that your child didn't get shot in the school. It is a benefit, oh, it's a benefit that the robber didn't come in your house last night. It's a benefit that your house didn't catch on fire and burn. 
whether you know it or not, the devil is messing with a whole lot of people's minds. Uh, he might be messing with yours too, but you still got it in. You're still in your right mind. Uh, amen. You might feel like you're going to go crazy, uh, but you haven't gone crazy. Because uh, it's a benefit uh, that God has given you every day uh, to keep you in your right mind. Uh, every time the devil try to drive you crazy, uh, and God keep your mind. I said, you old. I said, you old. 
Well, you, you know when you're ready to go, you're ready to go. Huh? And you remember when you were kids, you got stopped right, just gonna talk to you. You know, but, but what I thought about was she. Huh? Ain't no way. Huh? Oh, no. Huh? They done seen the light of Christ in my life. Huh? And I can't let God down. Huh? Cause I owe him something. Huh? And I refuse. Huh? To give the devil a victory. Huh? And let him smile in my Savior's face. Huh? Or laugh in his face. Huh? And say, was well, this yours? Huh? Did you pick this up? Huh? Did you clean this up? Huh? Did you turn this around?
want your glory and I want your power. I want less of me and more of you. Now there's a way to get the glory. <laughs> there's a way to get the power. And there's a way for there to be less of you and more of him. But while we're singing the song, it sounds good, but we really don't want to do the song. Amen. We want some glory and we want some power. But we don't want to do the work for the Lord. And we don't want to do the work for the power. And God knows we don't want to lessen ourselves. So we can be more of him.
something dim. Amen. In the mud. Amen. Amen. Told Jacob, well, your dad told your brother to go out on the field. Amen. And catch him something and bring it back. She said, well, look at here. Look at here. Go get one of the kids out of that field. And I'm going to fix it up and savory meat for your dad. Amen. I'm going to send you on in there. And you go in there and you act like you're your brother. He said, well, wait a minute, mama. Make a long story short. He said, if I go in there, he won't know it's me. Huh? And instead of getting a blessing, I'm going to get cursed. Huh? And she said, no, 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 let that be on me. Huh? She said, I'm going in there. Huh? And she went in there and got one of her brother's shirts because it smelled like the field. Huh? And Maddie saw the shirt smelled like the field. She put it on him. Huh? She took the skin of the goat huh? or the kid and put it on her son's neck. Huh? And Maddie, he went all in and there to see his daddy. Huh? Got on in there and I just said, I'm huh? He said, come on. Huh? Amen. And he smelled him and it's not like he smelled like the field. Huh? Amen. How do you catch that so fast? Huh? And then he lied on God and said, the Lord brought it to him. Huh? My, 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 my. Huh? Oh, my Lord, when somebody's trying to be deceitful. Huh? That would put God in there sometimes. Huh? But they're being deceitful. Huh? Uh -huh. And then he's deceitful. Huh? And he said, well, come, come close to him. Huh? And he began to feel him. Huh? He said, now, huh? he said, you. He said, but the voice is the voice of Jacob. <sighs> but he went on and blessed him. And he gave him a blessing. Now let me just go back a little bit because when they were in the womb, the Lord had already spoken a word concerning Jacob. That the older, the younger was going to rule over the old. So he didn't have to do any trickery. When God promises you something, you don't have to do underhand to stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because if you do underhand the stuff to get what God already promised you, then God's got to deal with you for your underhanded stuff. Oh, you need yeah. to just step back and let God. Oh, yeah. I said you need to step back and let God. And so I see that he did the underhand stuff. And you know, you know, uh, his mother was like, oh my goodness, because he saw said, I'm going to kill him. He had murder on his mind. He was like, he came in here. He done took the birthright. Now he done stole my blessing. When my daddy died, I'm going to kill him. And so the mother got wind of it. And she was like, boy, you got to get up out of here. I'm going to make this story up and tell your story. And I don't want you to marry no women out here. You know, and well, the women around there gave up to her dog. But I'm going to tell her that, you know, send you all down there, you know, to my brother's house. And that's what he did. Send them all down to his brother's house. So he's running from his brother, Esau, so that Esau don't kill him right about now. You know, he don't want to die. So he's got to go. He's got to be down. We got to go about his business. But while he's going about his business, because when God speaks the word, God has spoken the word. And, and, and. I, I know you might not like it. I, I, I'm not saying everybody do the right thing at all times. They don't. Amen. But when God has a word out on their life, he knows how to turn that thing around. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It just might be you. Uh -huh. Yeah, it just might be you. It ain't like he was going the right way at all times. Because he was. Uh -huh. You was. And he was. Uh -huh. You deserve to go to hell. Yes, you did. Uh -huh. You deserve for somebody to take your life. Yes, you did. Uh -huh. You deserve for somebody that hurt you. Yes, you did. But God! But God, it was just the but God for me. It was a but God, Elder. You know what I'm saying? But the but God. You, you know where you should have been, but it was a but God. It was but God. It was but God.
But God, that's why you old. That's, that's, that's why that's why you old here. Yeah. That's why you old here. Yeah. That's, that's why. That's why. Yeah. You, could, you could have been over there. You could have been in, in there. Yeah, but they had their heads up real low for you. Yeah, she was waiting for you. Me. Yeah. Let's start right there. 
because it is impossible for you to give God anything that he has not first given you. You better say that. Because you don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything to offer him. The only thing I can offer him is to offer him what he gave me. That's all I can give. That's all you can give. But God said, that's what I want. I want you to give me what I've given you. Now, 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 go ahead. Preach. Oh. <laughs> see, see you, you, you're really thinking about the giving part because it says that, I, that the message is, I owe God, which is true. You're thinking about the giving part, but it's more about the relationship. Come on, man. That's right. It's more about the relationship. See, God is trying to get you a, to a place of relationship with him. Ah, yeah. Not that surface level relationship. Because some people, we just got surface level relationship. Even in church, all y'all do is say praise the Lord. 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 It's just service. But God is saying, you know, I'm trying to take the relationship to the I want us to become intertwined. Yeah. I want us to form a covenant. Yes, yes. I want us to form a bond. And I want us to make it an unbreakable bond. Come on, Dale. Yeah. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So now, God. The enemy 
merciful. He's been merciful. Israel kept doing the same things over and over and over again. Like they forgot how good it been. I don't want to forget how good it's been. You know. I don't ever want to forget how good God has been to me. Because he's done things for me that he didn't have to do. Nine lashes each time. 
and pulling skin out each time. And the wound is getting deeper and deeper as they beat him. And he's not being beat by a child. He's not being beat by a woman. He's being beat by soldiers, strong men. And they're not having pity when they draw back and they bring it back to his back. And they rip his skin out over and 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 over. You get to how you say it again? Over, because they're still hitting him. They're still hitting him. They're still hitting him. They're still hitting him. I haven't said it enough times. They are still hitting him. As you get tired of me saying that they're still hitting him. But he had to let it be. For you and me, he had to let it be. And he had to let them keep hitting and hitting and hitting them. And ripping the skin out and ripping the skin out and getting down to the meat and getting to the meat and getting down to the meat and just laying his back open. Laying it open. Going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. You're talking about a bloody and a roll back. You're talking about me hanging. And bleeding and bleeding. You're talking about being smacked in your face. Not for yourself. Because you didn't do no wrong. You didn't do no evil. You didn't do no so you didn't tell no lies. You didn't see nobody's husband, nobody's wife. You wasn't committing fornication. You wasn't taking drugs. You wasn't getting no woman around. You wasn't stealing from nobody. You wasn't deceiving nobody. You wasn't none of these things. But a price has to be paid. If mankind is going to be saved, the price has to be paid. Somebody got to pray. Somebody got to pay. So God gave his own. So they smacked him in the face of the room. Bruce his face up. Put holes in his face. Because you know Reed had those. And then they took a crown of thorns. Took that and pushed it over. Oh, sin. 
So now they got to nail his hands and nail his feet. But if you take a look, you can get a little glimpse of how terrible it is when you look at the world. Yeah. And you see what is happening to the people. 
when you see the corruption of the mind, when you see how the minds are distorted, when you see that men want little children and women want little children, you see the distortion. It is called sin. It is called sin. And you see how somebody can beat somebody to death. They can literally beat them and brutalize them. It's called sin. You see how somebody can rape somebody and take their body. I don't want to pay that. 
I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay that and oh, I'm gonna pay that and oh, you owe God, I owe God. That's the altar call. You know you owe him. You know you haven't been paying on the layaway. You haven't been paying what you owe You haven't been giving yourself to the Lord like the song said, give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away.